bloodstream and the heart needs to pump that oxygenation through the body faster, right? Now, what's interesting about this state is the faster their arms go, guess what happens to their heart rates? It stays the same. Doesn't go up, doesn't go down, stays relaxed. Now, how's that physiologically possible? Well, I'll tell you why. When they're in a deep, profound state of somnambulistic hypnosis, the body's already highly oxygenated, the heart does not need to work any faster. I snap my fingers again, your arms move even quicker. Even quicker, even faster, even faster, even quicker. Now again, if we were to do these exercises, we would feel our heart rate change. State there and they will not feel a change. Now when I snap my fingers again, whatever position your arms happen to be in, they will freeze in that position. Now, that looked aerobic, but it's not, because they're in hypnosis and we're not. Now the same thing works the other direction, watch this. When I snap my fingers again, your arms continue to move in those same motions, but this time they move in super slow motion, just like instant replay. Super slow. We do something very slowly. <laughs> Athletes will tell you when they do anaerobic types of exercises, sometimes they feel discomfort in the muscle, yeah? Why? Maybe from a lack of oxygen, maybe from a buildup of lactic acid, maybe from using parts of the muscle that are not prone to working, or a combination, we don't know. But the cool thing is, in this state, is they will never feel any discomfort in this state. <laughs> Snap my fingers again, your arms move even slower. In fact, my friends, did you know we can do full-blown open-heart surgery with no chemical anesthesia? Every one of you has the ability. Did you know that? Oh, Stuff is not new, this is very old. Snap my fingers again, your arms move even slower. Now again, if we were to do these exercises, we would feel it changes. Again, stay there and they don't. It's a remarkably powerful tool that we have that we haven't been taught. Snap my fingers again, your arms freeze. And when I snap my fingers again, they move super fast, faster than they have moved yet tonight. Super fast, super fast, super fast, super fast, super fast. As once again, this round of applause is all for you. Super fast, super fast, super fast, super fast. Again, your arms freeze. Take a deep breath in. As you exhale, allow your arms to relax back to your laps, eyes closed, heads forward, and sleep way down. As this round of applause relaxes you even more. Give them all a tremendous round of applause. Yes, yes. Yep. And for my man right here, eyes open, feeling good. Eyes open, how you feel, man? You're down on the floor. Let's get you up off the floor. No embarrassment. That happens sometimes. You're feeling good. Come on, sit up. Come on, sit up, my man. There you are. Feeling good. Feeling good. Go ahead and sit up all the way up. All the way up. Feeling good. All the way up. Feeling good. All the way up. Go ahead and stand. Perfect balance. There you go, my friend. Oh. Let's knock this one back over there. There you are. Go ahead and stand up, my man. Stand up. Perfect balance. Standing up. All your balance comes back to you now, right away. There it is. Feeling good and refreshed. Now, on the count of one up to five, just for you, you're going to blink, be wide awake, all your energy back, just like in a nice little power nap. Starting now, the count of one, feel the energy coming back into your body. One up to two, more and more energy surging up and down the entire length and breadth of your body from the top of your head to the tips of your toes. Two up to three, more and more awake, more and more energized. Three up to four, wide awake, four, and five, wide awake, five, as this round of applause gives you a nice boost of energy. Give them a nice boost of energy. Oh my god. Awesome, man. You were totally awesome. Give him a nice round of applause. Nice job, man. Watch your step going down. Nice job, nice job, nice job. That energy, that round of applause wakes you up even more. Give him a nice boost of energy right there. He is awesome, man. I'm telling you, we could operate on that guy. Right. Let's get weird, shall we? <laughs> people on stage, people in the audience, on the count of three, back to one, you're going to open your eyes. When you open your eyes, you are immediately going to look down at your feet, and you are going to realize that your feet have grown three times their normal size. And when you walk, you will take very large, over-exaggerated steps as if you were an astronaut walking on the moon. You will maintain perfect balance at all times. You will never trip, push, or fall. In fact, each step you take, you gain better and better mobility. It's all gonna happen right now, the kind of three back to one. People on stage and in the audience, three, two, one. Sitting up, eyes open, everybody go ahead and stand up. 
Take a little test drive of those new feet and shoes with perfect balance. Take a little step or two forward. And now if you're on the stage, walk towards one of the stairwells that's nearest you, either to the right or the left, and using the handrail with perfect balance, go down the stairs onto the showroom floor. When you get down on the showroom floor, stay within the confines of the first three rows of the audience. Stay within the confines of the first three rows of the audience. In fact, when you go up to the third, first, second, or third row, you can walk through the middle of them if you want. Each step you take, you gain better and better mobility. And sir, you can remain down on the showroom floor. You don't no need to come up on the stage. I snap my fingers. Your hands also grow three times their normal size, everyone. So now you have the big hands and the big feet walking around. Perfect balance. Staying real close within the confines of the first three rows of the audience. When I snap my fingers again, your heads also grow three times their normal size. Now you have the big heads, big hands, big feet, perfect balance. The reason why your bodies are like this, when I snap my fingers again, you realize that you are aliens from outer space. Aliens, this is your first encounter with human beings. Find an audience member that you're nearest right now that's seated in the audience. Go right to that audience member and examine that human being. When you come to the first human, examine the human's hair. Touch it, feel it, smell it, examine their hair. Touch it, feel it, smell it, examine their hair. Touch it, feel it, smell it, examine their hair. And now move to the next human that's seated nearest that one. And when you do, you will examine the human's ears. Be very gentle with the ear as the ear is a delicate piece of anatomy. Touch the ear gently. Look at the ear. Be very careful with it. And now move to the human seated right behind that one. And when you do, you will examine that human's nose. Be very gentle with the nose. As the nose again is a very delicate piece of anatomy. Touch the nose. Look at the nose. Lean down, look inside. It may be, however, no probing necessary. No probing. Be very gentle. Be very gentle. <laughs> and now stare directly into their eyes. And as you do, you recognize and realize that human has information that you need to extract from their memory. And the way to do that is to use your telepathic powers and stare as closely as you can with your eyes directly into their eyes. Do it now. The closer you have your eyes to their eyes, the eyes the more information you can gather telepathically, staring deeply, closely, and intently through the lenses of their eyes and the recesses of their minds. And as the humans try and block you from taking that information, you know how to stimulate them. That's right. Rub their elbows in order to create stimulation. Rub their elbows as you stare in their eyes. Rub their elbows as you stare in their eyes. Rub both elbows as you stare in their eyes. And when I snap my fingers, the music's going to stop. And when the music stops, you are all wide awake wondering what you're doing out there. Place, two, uno. Wide awake! stage and those who are participating out in the audience freeze like a statue frozen <laughs> give them all another tremendous round of applause <laughs> everybody else have a seat so we can see where these folks are <laughs> where'd that guy come from man it's awesome <laughs> Got people all over you and holding on to me all right People who are in the show, both on and off stage, unfreeze. Remain standing, turn so you're facing me. If you sat down, just face this direction, looking right here at the bridge of my nose. If you're in a standing position, get a firm plant with your feet underneath your body. So with perfect balance in the standing position, you'll remain standing. If you're seated, you'll remain seated. People on stage and in the people in the audience, standing or sitting, take a deep breath in. As you exhale, your eyes close, your heads roll forward in the standing position. You'll remain standing. Everyone sleep. As once again, this round of applause is for all of you. Give them all a tremendous round of applause once again. Are we have fun tonight? Yes, yes. Yes, yes. Yes. Come on, let them hear it one more time. They were fantastic. Big round of applause for all these folks. In a standing or sitting position, on the count of one up to five, you're going to be wide awake, refreshed, invigorated, full of life, as if you've just had this guy's still asleep. hours of restful sleep. However, 
big however. If there is a specific time in which you do need to go to bed tonight and or your body is physically fatigued and you need to go to bed in order to recharge that internal battery, as soon as you get to bed for either one or both those purposes, you will indeed go right to sleep. Tomorrow, if there is a specific time in which you need to awaken, you will indeed get up at that specific time. You're going to be more risk, more energized tomorrow morning than you will be tonight, and tonight you're going to feel like you just had a great big power nap. Also, on the count of one up to five, you will not remember anything that you did in tonight's performance until you exit the theater. <laughs> Once you take three steps out of the theater doors on step number three, you will stop right in your tracks, at which point you will experience total Recall. At that moment, you're going to remember everything you did with no embarrassment. You were the stars of the program. All these suggestions take place now at the count of one up to five. Have a little wake up music for our guests starting now at the count of one. Feel the energy start to come back into your feet, everyone. One up to two. Feel the energy surge up through your back, out through your shoulders, down through your arms, all the way to the tips of your fingers. Two up to three, feel those fingers wiggle as the energy moves up and down the entire length of the rest of your body. Up and down your arms, your legs, your midsection, head and neck, feeling so good and cleansed. Feeling so refreshed, revived and alive. Three up to four, more energy surging all the way from the top of your head to the tips of your toes, inside the body, outside the body and all over. And at the count of four, up to five, eyes open, wide awake, five, wide awake, five, wide awake, five, wide awake, five. As this round of applause gives you even more energy, you guys can all grab a seat. You guys can all grab a seat. You guys enjoy the rest of your cruise. I'm Hitman to Stoke McCrog, and I got this. We'll see ya. Tonight, everybody. Well, ladies and gentlemen, please put your hands together for